All right. Well, we're out here fishing. We ain't catching much of nothing. So Matt is gonna show us how to rig up a hand line. First, we start off with, what pound test we got here? 300. We got a 300 pound test mono leader that we're gonna go ahead and tie onto our hand line here. Just have a nice little splice loop in here. We're gonna crimp it on there instead of tying it, but to relieve the pressure, we'll go and wrap it around multiple times here. And that keeps it from pinching down on this line as tightly. So all you did was put the oh your split. All you did was put the line through the loop, and then yeah. you just wrapped it around. Just it a keep couple wrapping times. it around, and, and then eventually make a little loop around so it doesn't completely bite on the rope itself. Yeah. Though that way it won't bite on the rope and put a lot of pressure on the rope from too tight of a uh, from it tightening down too much. Yes, yeah, so that way your line's not cutting straight into the rope. It's going to be biting. It's going to be creating another loop on itself. Where did my crimpers go? Oh, now we're looking for crimpers. So we have that wrapped around, like tying a multiple overhand knot just intertwined together, which will keep it from crimp closing down too tightly. Then we have our aluminum sleeve crimp so that it doesn't come loose. And then we have our crimpers. And all you have to do is match up the size sleeve with the size hole on that crimper. Whenever you're crimping mono, you always want to leave a little bit there so that it doesn't crimp into the, cut into the mono from being too close to the edge there. Then you just drive her home. And one more in the middle there. And now that is as strong as the leader material. So again, all you did was put your main 300 pound test mono through that splice loop you have here, or your anchor, anchor, old anchor line. Yeah, your old anchor line. I don't know what you want to call that. Your horseshoe, maybe. Slide it through there, a couple overhand knots, just create another loop. And that loop is strong. It may look like it's loose, but it's not because that crimp is just going to hold it nice and tight there. So now, once you got that done, we're going to go on down to the hook. Or no, I'm sorry. The swivel end. The swivel, because then you're going to go ahead and put on wire. We like to put on wire just in case, just for that extra little bit of abrasion. Although 300 pound test is going to be quite an abrasion blocker. I say after this we go fish that pole over there, and then after that we go home. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> it's getting hot. It's clearing up, but fishing is still slow. And if you wanted to on your hand line, you could just fish straight mono down to a hook. So here we have our crimp. Down to our swivel. What, what pound test is that? 500 pound test ball sparing swivel? Yeah, it's a 500 pound swivel. The green thing is just called a thimble, and that keeps the mono from bending too tightly around the swivel, which could cause it to break. And once again, we're looking for the, there they are. And then just the same with that. Leave a little bit of an edge. And that, and then we'll just trim up that tag end of that mono off of there. And then we would go on the other end of this single strand wire to whatever hook you want. And that way you have an easy way to cut it off. If, the, uh, if you were to catch, say, a shark with big teeth, and you don't want to get too close to them and lose a finger. Just cut the wire and let them have a good day. So we're choosing not to go as high of a test pound test with the wire. Just for the fact we want to be able to cut it pretty quick and easy. 
with our uh, cutters there. I think we got probably got about a 200 pound test wire. And then we're gonna go down to an 18 ounce circle hook. These will rust out very quickly out of the fish's mouth. Well, obviously we would try to get it out first unless, of course, we catch a shark. If it bothers you that much, you can go ahead and come down here and grab that out of his mouth. I ain't doing it. But this way to get a big glass grouper or something. The heck? Oh, that was a wire. Wire went between my toes. It scared me. Well, we got the 18 those circle hooks. You can pop them out of a grouper's mouth if you like. Or if a shark comes along, you can just go ahead and cut this wire and you have enough on there left over to go ahead and throw you on a brand new hook there. So all we're doing with that wire is going through the other end of the swivel. Not the best looking. Not uh, the best looking haywire twist. Not the world, best looking but... haywire twist out there, my friends. Oh my goodness. I'll tell you what, though. You got that clean cut on there. That's what I'm happy about. one i sure hope so on this rig you anywhere you can go ahead and put your sinker if you choose to put a six ounce or four ounce egg sinker on there you can put it on i would probably put it on the mono above the wire though so that way when you cut the hook if you get a shark or something along those lines you don't lose your egg sinker there or you just take like a 30 pound test leader tied onto your swivel up there at the, where the mono and the wire meet and i'll work just as fine just to get the bait down there down in the water column rather than having it float up a little bit. Bada bing. Go. Once again, not the prettiest haywire twist out there. But I can promise you it'll get the job done. If it doesn't, in the comments you can say I told you so <laughs> but there's our hand line we made up 18 on a circle hook Bad. there's the hook some very high from some high strength wire 500 pound ball bearing swivel crimped on a 300 pound test mono a couple feet of our mono on down to our anchor rope old anchor rope we have plenty of we're gonna go ahead and get a nice little basket so that way it's always it's nice and neat no knots so that way when you do use it it's gonna come out quick and easy so that's just one of the many ways you can make a hand line for grouper or sharks or whatever we got about 100 feet of anchor rope 100 150 i don't recall exactly what it was but we have plenty we don't we don't go out in that deep of spots for our grouper and such if you like that video hit the like button and go ahead and drop a comment don't forget to subscribe me and Matt, we'll see y'all next time.